Let's talk to Perspicacity. Let's see if he's here. Yeah. Let's see who's here. There he is. Uh, let me unmute him. There he is. Are you there, Perspic? Hi, Dick. How this is doing? our first. Uh, this is our first meeting. I think. I, I know. Think isn't that crazy? Even on accident, we didn't cross years. paths yeah. on Ralph's show. <laughs> yeah. When you were the. It never quite happened when I was the co-host. Yes. <laughs> Uh, you had a great run on that show. Perspicacity was uh, Ralph's co-host, or I don't know if it was formal or informal for a formal. formal? I was a formal co-hosting gig. Yes, if you can believe that with Ralph. It was formal. <laughs> it was now for how long? <laughs> uh, I was Ralph's co-host for about six six months. Uh, that's a six long months. time. Can you believe that? Yeah. <laughs> with, oh, that time. was a that was a good time, with Ralph. It was that's a good run, Ralph. I guess. Uh, it was, uh, it was, it the world ended. was on fire and we were, I was still doing the show with Ralph. It was kind of wild until wow. he, until yeah, this he had, last one. Yeah. He had a bit of a, he had a bit of a rough relapse on that one. <laughs> this, how is he now? He's phenomenal now. Phenomenal. He okay, went good. on Ethan Van Skyver's show <sighs> yeah. and absolutely bodied this guy named Gabe Hoffman, uh -huh. who is, um, he is like he's a Zionist guy, yeah. That's he's constantly super, going on about Israel. He's super pro Israel. Yeah. He's some sort of he he poses as a Hollywood producer. He he made some movie called An Open Secret hmm. that is alleging to be like pro exposing Hollywood pedophiles, but then he sued some of the child victims in the movie. Yeah, he sued to, the child classy, victims. For speech. Yeah, classy. to stop them from telling their story on other programs and like so oh, he would lose the clout. Yeah, right. Which uh, and the, the money. He's and the very money. litigious. Yeah. Uh he led a campaign for months to get Mersh kicked off PayPal. So huh. even talking about him is very risky because huh. he's He's extremely driven to ruin people's lives from, from what that interview. Oh, wow. Just from watching that interview, that's what I got out of it. Yeah, he's very litigious. Huh, and yeah. uh, well, he gives away a lot of his money, too. He's a massive pay pick for people that he will give out his narrative, I guess. He'll, yeah, he's I don't, dropped thousands. I don't know why so. either. It doesn't, a lot of this stuff doesn't make sense to me, so. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, but nothing, rarely anything does in the Ralph verse. <laughs> and rarely things make any sense at all. I learned that firsthand that when I was trying to make sense of it, I, you still, it makes even less sense once you get involved with Ralph. It's like you're really scratching your head. So. Yeah. Can you bump him up a little bit? Yeah, sure. Sean? I'm going deaf. Uh -huh. um, or maybe I'll turn myself up it. a little bit. So, um, well, enough about, you know, uh, me causing us <laughs> endless trouble by yeah. dealing with Dave. <laughs> Gabe Hoffman, he demanded to go on Ethan Van Skyver's show. Yeah. And like, because, you know, Ethan Van Skyver has has begun this. He's uh, kind of blown up, hasn't he? He's blown up big time. Uh, now that he's Again. A, yeah, again. Yeah. Now that he's attacking people who are uh, duplicitous yeah. and lying to others and like participating in this sort of behavior to to cancel other people. Right. People, people, the audience loves that. They'll, right. you know, they'll just follow that right off a cliff uh yeah. he demanded to go yeah. on evs's show and like run a weird defense for eric july um for hiring these incest piss porn fetish intersectional feminists to run his country anyway i don't know this is getting way off in the weeds uh so <laughs> yeah. but but the reason i wanted you to come on is first of all because you I had me at your, piss porn whatever, whatever, yeah. whatever, piss porn <laughs> whatever you said and me too they're me too so they're me too intersectional <laughs> feminists and then they support trans and kids it's like this is the most sjw shit you can get uh do not hire it you imbecile but he loves them. I think he wants to fuck, have like a weird twin cess threesome with them. So that's why yeah, he's hiring them. Comes a lawsuit. Oh, I mean, it, can you can he say he does well, not want to fuck them? You know, he's building up. You know, he's got to support yeah. that empire, his business, his product, right? His warehouse yeah. empire. <laughs> the warehouse empire. Yeah. <laughs> um, Very threatened by Riley. I was. Uh, that was the most curious to me. Very threatened by mint salad and Riley. I, <laughs> I was like, I, I don't know. How do you take that when somebody's calling the police on Riley for putting stickers on he's the gonna front start, door from where? He's going to start selling uh, Ripaverse branded shelves <laughs> from his warehouse. He like, sells cardboard yeah. boxes. He sells, <laughs> Sean, he sells Ripaverse cardboard boxes for 50 bucks that you can put your three issues of ISOM in. Oh my God, that's what that's I saw. That's true. That's what I saw George in the other day. <laughs> he 
He lives, yeah. Maddox lives <laughs> yeah. in a Ripaverse box. Let's get Bunch him one, one yeah. for his gummy bears. They caught you him at put wheels on it and use it as a Power Wheels to get buying, around. Buying packing tape, with fifty <laughs> of fucking Eric's boxes. Uh, you think it's you think it's odd that a black man uh, feels confident in calling the cops on Riley and Mint Salad like two white pornographers? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you think that's odd. Yeah. I do. Wow, I think that might be a little odd. A little, you know, I don't know if Riley is particularly imposing individual, but. Well, he's got those he big novelty scissors. <laughs> yeah, right. He was threatened. <laughs> Riley runs around with big scissors. Like uh, in the Big Lebowski. Yeah. He's going to cut off your Johnson. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, cut off your Johnson. <laughs> I think if, um, yeah, if, uh, if he has any contacts with his old life, I think they'd be like, yeah, you, you can't come around no more. Oh, like, gangbanging days? I mean, like, you, know, oh, you, can't, you, call you call the cops. You call the <laughs> cops. On a white lady? And then you call the cops. Yeah. <laughs> on a big ten white lady? <laughs> do we need to continue down this path? Let's just, <laughs> don't, just, we don't know you. Um, now he's, now Eric's decided that this, uh, this white suburban house mom, he's calling her a dog fucker because she's, she's in an Inuyasha fan club yeah which is like a what yeah she is uh, that's like anime right it's like Every, a, yeah. it's like an anime version of twilight is that right i don't know but it's like a uh, werewolf it's like a guy that turns into yeah, a werewolf oh. it's something like that it, it's like some guy who's a half demon or something i i remember yeah. the show being on when i was young but yeah i, I wasn't a huge fan of uh inuyasha because it's for anime. girls <laughs> yeah right it's for little <laughs> girls <laughs> they love they love that shit you know <laughs> Ooh, he's it's gonna, like Sailor Moon he's gonna, for he's a younger demon. Kid. He's gonna fuck me, right? They love that shit. <laughs> yeah. As a as a wolf. But now Eric July is calling her a dog fucker. Got it. Man, this is quite a world. Black yeah. man's calling a white woman a dog fucker <laughs> right. in broad daylight. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Wow. The times have changed. Oh, times have changed in comics. <laughs> Wow. Well, he's um, clearly getting off on all the drama, right? I mean, he's clearly, it's become obvious that he's clearly into this and keeping it going, like this controversy, because it's printing money. And that's why everybody's getting involved. You know? Yeah. I mean, I I hope he gets it. I hope he has embraced it. I mean, for maybe his, his mental state, because for a while, it sure while didn't he seem like having fun. he wasn't having fun. <laughs> sure didn't no. seem like it. <laughs> he's got all the support now, though. Yeah. A bunch of other fat, yeah. fat white guys have joined up with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they, they rub on him. The quartering and yellow flash rub oh, on him. So he gets a little wider every day. Mm. Uh, <laughs> the most fasc- yeah, the most fascinating <laughs> thing to me was when they were inserting the 3D models with the filter over it. And, and that's the comic. Yeah. I couldn't believe that. That I couldn't believe. Like, that's what goes on now in comics. They literally take 3D images and then they just put a filter over it and they call it a comic. That's- and he's like floating on a couch. <laughs> people are yeah. paying money for this <laughs> yeah it's kind of uh, I don't know maybe like end tables are hard to draw like you know, they, they can't have to even keep go over them. after they render and like open their eyes up <laughs> they just render it and it's like oh well the computer closed the eyes on that one. Oh, yeah. well that's fine oh that's good yeah oh, oh well. people yeah. close their oh, eyes oh this guy's floating he's laid down on the couch but he's floating on it oh well <laughs> maybe he Nobody was blinking while he was talking that's fine <laughs> yeah. that's normal <laughs> We just well, happen to draw a mid blink on this one. No big deal. You know, there's a saying in in uh, in, uh, in audio with before there was Pro Tools, there were pros. So oh. it's like <laughs> <laughs> now it's yeah. You know, I, I got mean, you. Maybe yeah, that maybe yeah, the comics is kind of getting that's there. A good you know? one. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the big news, uh, the big thing I thought it'd be fun to talk uh, with you about is um, yes. Ralph. <clears throat> Everyone knows I love Ralph. Uh, yes. You've made that abundantly clear. He has been, he knocked this girl up, you know, a long time ago. Yeah. The first girl that he knocked uh-huh. up. And then it didn't go well. And <laughs> <laughs> the, the knocking up. No, it didn't Did go well. Did he sign the consent well, form? The knocking is that up way to... quite well, actually, surprisingly well. Right. I mean, it worked. He, signed the, he had it her sign worked. the form and uh, he, he recorded it. And so, <laughs> <laughs> right. So, so nobody can come be back. overwhelming. Yeah. And then he posted the consent and the copulation on the internet so there would be no he's ahead of his time ralph uh okay yeah <laughs> yeah from soup to nuts to nut you got to see how from that baby was made yeah um <laughs> yes from conception yes <laughs> okay so then so the father of the woman was upset for some reason right uh, yes like how deep do you want to go into this i could go real deep 
Well, I'm going to give the broad it. strokes, and then I'm looking for okay. what piques Sean's interest because he's usually a good barometer of what the audience wants to well, hear. You should first. You should go into when the father found out uh, about his daughter running off to live with Ralph in the middle of the night. And uh, the father's response was to make an entire website dedicating to putting all the family's information out there, all of the daughter's information out there, threatening to sue the daughter because she stole uh, the suitcase that she left in. All this all cr crazy stuff. The so father, the dad's going to sue his yeah. daughter who ran off with Ralph for all this like, yes. pointless to... tic-tac bullshit, ticky-tacky. And he wants to <laughs> yeah. dox everybody. Dox too, everybody. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, Fine, yeah. So so this dad, uh, Matthew Vickers, Vickers is his name. Yeah. Has spent the la his name O has spent the last two years, <laughs> is yeah. it? Yeah. Four. Has spent the last four years. Four years. Four, years. Four, years. Almost four years. Yeah. Hounding Ralph at every opportunity wow. to try to make him like the most miserable guy on the planet yeah. and drive him to suicide and get him to like relinquish all connection with his son which i told him he should have done which i told him to do I, on, yeah. on in private and on the air i said yeah. he should absolutely do that um and basically make his life miserable like he's filed he constantly files lawsuits against him for wow. defamation yeah for anything and brags for everything yes multiple he goes on stream all week for multiple hours every day bragging about how rich he is how he's going to drive ralph into the grave how him and his wife are like the best parents in the world. Oh, yeah. He got it's... his son to go serve Ralph um, another <laughs> yeah, lawsuit. And, wow. And not even just his son, but random people from the internet, from How like old? Kiwi uh, Farms, that he, uh, he hired these people. He's my to age. serve Ralph. Yeah. So, I mean, talk about different sides of like different <laughs> life experiences. Yeah, He's right? like a yeah. one year older than me. Wow. Is so, he really one year older than you, Dick? Yes. Um, can someone geez. confirm that? How old Vickers is? Yeah, somebody. So the girl, his daughter is like much younger than, considerably younger than Ralph, right? I think she's like yes. 20, 23. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's 23. Um, and she even wrote in her diary that she was worried her dad was going to try to start an e fame career. Well, off when. Of Oh, um, yes. Dating Ralph. Yeah. yeah. Huh. So she went. So the parents, she, the parents finally convinced uh, her to like meet them at a hotel, right? Mm -hmm. So she was going to go back with the parents from Ralph's house. But then they took her phone. So she committed herself to a, a mental asylum. We're all women I'm not belong. making any of this stuff. Yes, yeah. we're all women. I mean, that's women kind of, kind of did the work asylum. for, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> she committed herself to <laughs> the mental asylum and yeah. maybe a certain sex tape dropped during that time. So her parents decided to tell everybody about the sex tape, including all their parishioners at their shop. Mm. If you're wondering what drove away all the business, they told all their parishioners about the sex tape. Okay. So here's the kicker, Sean. Okay. <laughs> this has been happening for four years. Ralph's yeah. been dealing with this guy. And uh -huh. I've thought the whole time, like, man, this is a tough curse that Ralph's got to bear. Yes. This, guy this guy's not going to spend the rest of his life doing this, right? He sure seems driven. I mean, I'm picturing myself in this, doing these these actions. I wouldn't do these things, but I'm just saying if I did, like, man, I got a lot of resources oh, to no, fuck I know. up someone's life, right? Okay. Yeah. I could do it for a long, until I'm dead, easily. Right, right. Fucking Matthew Vickers. Uh -huh. They found out this week was... $500,000 in debt between the IRS, the Fe the California Federal Tax Board, Disneyland Cruises. <laughs> yeah, Disneyland. <laughs> his, his timeshare, a fucking homeowners association, like 30 grand in debt to a homeowners while he's on stream every night bragging about like the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase, yeah. about he's going to destroy La Ralph's life and how his life is so great. 500000 in debt. Wow. Bankruptcy. House foreclosed. He's got four other fucking kids, right? Wow. Worst father. Worst father. Ever. Dead worst beat. father yeah. ever. Wow. Um, deadbeat. Worst father. And uh, his wife left him. All in the span yeah, he's, of... <laughs> he's getting a divorce, yes. <laughs> so Ralph fucking his daughter, to, excuse my language, destroyed his life. Yeah. Well, the, yeah. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Oh, this is a Ralph a curse. The guy thought he was on top and he just destroyed his entire life just trying to get it Ralph. By just You just don't always love who your daughter fucks, right? Right. right. You know, but you know, they're probably a little bit like you, right? So you have to be a little bit honest with yourself about that.
Well, not in this case. <laughs> well, I mean, well, you know, kind of in this case, he's just not yeah. as good at Ralph at it. Yeah, he just didn't I become know. a good Issa. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it's you know, well, it's funny. It's, a, it's like another guy who just like you know self immolates. Kind of, right. I mean, it's incredible the people, amount of debt that you're in, and you're sitting there every night seething about Ralph and bragging about lawsuits yeah. with your fat yeah. wife, ex-wife <laughs> yeah. now. Well, it's what been they the most epic is, Ralph flip in, that I've ever seen. These guys just... Like, they, they <laughs> it just is an amazing win. They insist upon just dancing in a field full of rakes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah that's what I see George do it. I, yeah, Maddox, just, yeah. I mean, fucking... How many times can you whack yourself in the <laughs> fucking face with a rake before you learn something? Uh, well, it's gotten worse and worse and worse. You know, he was... Uh, I've been feuding with Vickers for four years now. Uh, well before I made amends with Ralph and everything. And then, of course, we had the breakup of, about a month ago. But ah. uh, it, Vickers has spent over $100,000 on these lawsuits. Oh. And his shows were dedicated to reading line by line the lawsuits. So he'd go through page by page and be like, this is what I'm getting Ralph for here. And he broke the DVRO by saying Faith's name in this tweet on this date. I mean, the restraining the guy is order. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Set. yeah. The restraint, these restraining orders that are all bullshit anyway. I mean, Ralph lives in Mexico. Yeah. What do you need a restraining Vickers order? has no money to pursue him if he breaks it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, now he has nothing. Right? But it was all now, bullshit anyway. The restraining anyway. order just evaporated. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. You know. I mean, uh, he well, like, it, and it, go ahead. Isn't it a story as old as time, though, really? I yes. mean, your daughter, uh -huh. teenage daughter, runs off. She, I mean, with she's a over Lothario. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with some guy. She runs off with some guy and parties for three months. She comes home pregnant. And then it's like, oh, what do we do? You know? Like, yeah. It's happened a million but, times. It's what do you not do? a million do? times yeah. over the years. Yeah. But this guy's. This guy's reaction to that was to make himself bankrupt. Yeah. I mean, this is to spend every yeah. last dime trying to destroy <sighs> Ralph. And it's he, unreal. And he's like being he's, spurred on the whole time by people who despise Ralph. Yes. Yeah, you got, yeah that was an awesome stream. Well, it's, you got to <laughs> yeah. do that. And it's always, it, you know, it's real easy to play with somebody else's money, too. Yeah, yeah. For their, yeah. They're like, because yeah. let's face it, I mean, because it's entertaining. It, it is. Well, it's entertaining. Well, people, can you imagine? They want shit like that to happen. <laughs> Well, can you imagine? The guy is like, the house is in like foreclosure now, right? He's yeah. getting a divorce. The house is in foreclosure. Like the business is done. How much is his, his house? Maybe I should buy Ralph's grand uh, son a nice place to live. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like... I want to get into investing. You know, Bitcoin's I, on a tear. Sure, I got to diversify right. a little bit. I'm not sure how much is, you know, because they haven't itemized everything on the list. It's just a bankruptcy that he's filed like three times now. It's been back and forth and rejected like three times in oh, bankruptcy. God. And they keep spending more and more money. But I mean, the house got to be worth something because it's a gated community. And the irony is this gated community has a clause that you can't squat in the house if you can't afford it. <laughs> it's a gated community. Yeah. So it's so perfect. So they can't even white trash squat there. They're they're fucked because they had to sign this lease with like some you know like a condo board or like a housing board for this uh, gated community. He's way so behind in his HOA squat. dues too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That hundred thousand so dollars would have gone a long way God. for a uh, you know thirty year mortgage or whatever he's got. Like, yeah. Oh god. I don't know so what funny. he thought. Like, where did he think it was? He also tried to sue me. Oh, and he did? Various people on Twitter, yes. He tried to shoot 50 people on Twitter. Oh, my God. Wow, for uh, what? For, he literally claimed that he was crippled by the coverage, like he was in like a wheelchair. He had neurological damage. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, the fans set him into a wheelchair? Route. Like the big yes, Lebowski? This is what, I'm yeah. not even kidding you. In is the lawsuit, it outlines that he was neurologically damaged by online trolls. <laughs> <laughs> and Ralph, which I told uh, Ralph at the time, I said, Ralph, this is the greatest. This lawsuit is the greatest thing ever. This man is literally telling you that he was neurologically damaged yeah. by you. Sue you for like a million dollars uh, for neurological damage. From what's Twitter. wrong with these people? They just, they, they, they they just go straight to lawsuit they every time. just can't shut the laptop. <laughs> I, 
Oh, my legs are cured. I can walk. I, Let me, I can yeah. walk. Yeah. I don't want to because I'm 600 pounds, but I can. Pounds. Right. And uh, that's the thing too. Well, the wife just had weight loss surgery. She just had a gastric bypass. Oh, so they're racking up. No. They're, and now they're racking divorced. up as much debt as possible. That's exactly. <laughs> it's all a scam in and of itself. They're racking up as much debt as they can so they could get it all out in the bankruptcy. Then he's divorcing her so he can get her on Medi-Cal, basically. Oh, so it's a divorce oh, on paper? Oh. Yeah, so it's like wow. a quotation. It's like the wife is disabled in big quotation marks. So it's all to big get. It's quotation all to, marks. Yeah. <laughs> it's all to set up like this big, massive scam where they can mm. just like suck the government for welfare and insurance. I'm sure. God. So I'm supporting the Vickers family. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, I'm a California so. pack taxpayer. Perhaps they're yeah. gonna fucking bankrupt the California, you know, yeah, Medicare the, system. And he's online crying all every day about how Ralph's not supporting uh, his son. And here I'm actually supporting all of his kids. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> now you're supporting the family. <laughs> his wife, uh, which is expensive. Jesus believe me. Christ. Uh, well, you see them. They're all 600 fucking pounds. I'm sure that costs a, that, that's going to cost a ton of money. All of a sudden, they're going to be going to the doctor every week. How much uh, for the bankruptcy and the repossession? How much do they get for like uh, 60 Disney mugs? What are those? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Secondhand. I know Vickers is selling his streaming equipment, which I found <laughs> funny. He's selling the microphone for $50 on eBay. No, so. Oh, my God. <laughs> but we're not going to get any what? more of the good, the bad, and the vicious? Oh, come on. No, like we're 50, not going to get any minute-by-minute minute coverage in the yeah. lawsuits that Ralph, he spent hundreds of thousands. 50, but what is that going to do? <laughs> what? He's like selling your fucking USB mic. I think it's symbolic. Uh, yeah, Perhaps okay. he it's realized. Symbolic, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me look up what he looked like. Good, the bad, and the vicious. Uh I really can't believe it. I thought Ralph would have to deal with this forever, but I mean, honestly, he just, I told he just Ralph self-immolated. This is the thing with Ralph, and I, I, I do like I was, uh, I really tried to be a good friend to Ralph, and I would say to Ralph because his stuff would drive. I know me crazy. I listened to, to your Ralph. breakup live, and it was uh, yeah. heartbreaking. It was heartbreaking. It was heartbreaking because, because I know addiction. Ralph. I know addiction very well. Um, and uh, coming from your side, you were you were the sober one in the conversation, so uh, it's always more yes. It's all, you're always more sympathetic to me because I'm always on the other side of that. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Uh, well, yeah. yes, I know about that. Yeah. yeah. So and, anyway, uh, what were you saying? I had had this conversation with Ralph like 20 times off air, but he doesn't remember anything. Well, so, yeah. <laughs> you know that. I know you know that. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're aware. So I was saying to Ralph, you know, like, okay, you have an insane father in law. You know, you got a whole other situation going on where you can get into trouble. Just ignore the vicars. They're going to go bankrupt because they can't possibly support paying for the daughter's lawsuits, paying for their own lawsuits. They live like, you know, they live like they're just living off of credit, like yeah, going yeah. on these vacations and stuff. It's never going to hold up. They're not making this amount of money. Yeah. Because there's a whole story behind the coin shop where the entire inventory for the coin shop he owned is a, allegedly... A coin shop. The guy... He owned a coin Vickers shop. Vickers owned a coin shop. Okay. Vickers owned a coin shop, yes. Right. And allegedly, <laughs> the guy he got the entire inventory from this coin shop, all the silver and gold and coins and stuff, was this schizophrenic guy oh, who good. leased all of his inventory to them, and then the inventory mysteriously disappeared, and Vickers didn't know what happened to it. Oh, when he what? went to the store... So the guy filed the lawsuit. He tried to, this guy is a little nuts. Okay. So he tried mm -hmm. to perform a citizen's arrest on yeah, Victor's sure. mm -hmm. at the store. Of course, he was escorted out of the store. You, pr you can and, perform uh, a citizen's arrest or a, a female cop <laughs> citizen's arrest where you just come in <laughs> yeah. blasting, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. Citizen's arrest, what kind? The woman kind. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, fortunately, yeah, he wasn't, so he was a little nutty. But he filed like this big civil lawsuit that Vickers stole all his money. But Vickers is such a scam artist that he kind of slipped away from that. But uh. you'll notice there are all these little civil filings with Vickers in the background that are going on where Vickers mysteriously is accused of stealing all this money and somehow he doesn't know where it is. He doesn't know anything about it. And that's yeah. been going on for years and years and years. Well, once you, once you choose to stop paying taxes, in my experience, the people who do it, they <laughs> yeah. don't ever pay him again. Like, well, I'm my theory pay taxes is this year or the next seven years. Like, okay. Yeah. Oh, you mean if, 
it, the psychology of it. Yeah, where they're like I'm already like, behind. I'll make up for it next year. Like you are yeah. not yeah. going to make up for it next year, right. bro. You didn't have the money this year. <laughs> yeah, you're on a payment plan in you're, seven years. That's yeah. what's happening. Yeah. You're finally dead broke. Yeah. Well, my theory is once he went through the entire inventory, he couldn't replenish any of that money. Like it just wasn't making money anymore. So they were just broke after that. So all it was basically all money that they stole. And then once they ran out of that stolen money, it was like, it's over. <laughs> the gravy trade is wow. over. Notice the shop closed. It wasn't making any money. So there has to be like explanations for these things. And I think that uh, Vickers caught himself. I mean, you don't go from being a banker to owning a, co a coin shop anyway. It's kind of a strange yeah. transition of careers. That's what he looks like. Um, yeah. That's him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fedora. He looks about my age. Are those right? like, what the f are those, are those like opera glasses? Like, uh, he's looking for the lost looking? money. He's looking for where the money is. Yeah. He's looking at his daughter's sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> that was another thing that was wild that he revealed. He That's revealed that yeah. he created a Pornhub account so he could be the first person to download the sex tape so he could have an archive of it. He announces all of this stuff. It's insane with yeah. this guy. Yeah, the, this is Gen X stuff, man. They're gonna get. <laughs> they're gonna get. We're gonna get weirder and dumber like this, yeah, like sure. asserting control, sure. how much we don't care. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be a whole different kind of beast. What that you be just, put down? Different kind of money. Wouldn't you pay voice. people off? Like, wouldn't you pay that hundred thousand dollars so nobody ever talks about this sex tape again? You just pretend it doesn't exist. Like nobody really knows. Like a normal person on the street doesn't know who Ralph is. Right. Doesn't know what the kill stream is. So right. wouldn't you just keep it quiet and like not tell everybody? Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't talk about it. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. 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 Do you remember happened. when... People can't do sex. that though. <laughs> like, do you remember when Ralph was feuding with like Leafy and Keemstar? Yeah. Do you know the Vickers family contacted Keemstar and Leafy and stuff with the sex tape and said they wanted to be interviewed? <sighs> To get the daughter's <laughs> sex tape out there. This is very uh, Kardashian esque. It is. Yeah, they're it the really white is. Kardashians. <laughs> it's yeah. so slimy and white trash. Yeah. It's really they got the unreal. fat ass and fat everything else. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I think the. Uh, it's kind of nice thinking now that without his uh, uh, oppressive influence, maybe the daughter could raise the kid. Well, yeah, maybe a they little could bit of help a, from Ralph. Oof, you know, yeah, yeah. a little bit of normal influence time. Or, or whatever, just without this like soul sucking e celebrity mm -hmm. shit always hanging around because it, it well, hurts people. It to, yeah. yeah, what does it have to do with this child anyway? It's not like this child knows anything about any of this nonsense. Well, no, yeah. but it's you know they're the kid's just gonna get fucked. Yeah. I mean, in the yeah. in the long run, these well, people are so dysfunctional. Thank God he has Ralph male DNA. That's what I'm you holding know, on to. Yes, He's he does that. have the Ralph male yep. DNA. Yep. Yep. Yeah. He could survive it. He could survive anything. Yeah. I mean, there is one more story. I don't know if this is too dark, okay. but it is no. a fascinating story. The last time somebody asked that uh, was Trap Daddy. <laughs> oh, right. And he said his daughter had just died from leukemia or something. Remember? Yeah, oh, well, yeah, boy. That. yeah so, that one really, yeah. You, you got to top that, that first kicked me right in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> How dark could it be? I still think about it yeah, this yeah. week. I was like, oh, man, oh, that geez. sucks. That's, <gasps> yeah. that's terrible. Yeah, it's not as dark as... It's kind of comical. Okay. So you remember Ralph went to Portugal, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. So the first time he went to Portugal, he got the he got beaten up and he had to go to the hospital. The second time he went to Portugal, there was this guy, this British guy, Cog, who's like complete roach. Like nobody knows who he is or anything. But mm -hmm. Vickers was like liquidating his children's college fund to like give this guy money. To give Cog like money? Only, yeah, he was giving Cog, like he was the main contributor to Cog. He was giving him was, cash. To do what? Cash money, to yeah. Like, it was revealed even in uh, some leaks. If you remember the post leaks, I don't know if you know about any of that. But Only Vickers actually gave Cog like a ton of money to go to Portugal to confront Ralph. <sighs> to confront was, Ralph? Is that when yes. Ralph got beat up? That's when Ralph got beat up by Cog's friend, Dan. Yeah. So Vickers time. is dipping into his kid's college fund to pay a muscle man to go to another country and beat up. Beat up well, that's yeah. also a, like a major criminal charge, right? <laughs> so like, it gets I mean, even crazier. Crazy? Well, yeah, I mean. Yeah. We're not even to the crazy part. We're not even yeah. touching the crazy part yet. So they save the shirt for Vickers that Dan is wearing with Ralph's blood on it. And Vickers mm -hmm. pays for it to get shipped to California so he could frame it and put it in his living room. The shirt that he paid 
What the, the shirt, fuck? Dan, shirt that he paid this guy to beat up Ralph. He had them send it to California full of blood and he framed it in his living room. And it's framed in his living room. The, the evidence of Ralph's a Ralph. major of a, of a crime. crime. Of, of like multiple crimes. The evidence of multiple crimes is framed in this guy's living room. This guy's, because what he's, the fuck? He's insane. It's he's so obsessed with Ralph. Up. Yeah. Because he insane. wanted to fuck his daughter. I mean, that's the only explanation. <laughs> yeah. uh, <you> know. <laughs> It does seem like a Ben Thorpe type situation. Yes, if you're where for the Thorpes are. Yeah, I do. I saw uh, he just got arrested for kicking his daughter, and it really took the fun out of all their. their <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know anything arrested. about the. Uh, there are this dad story. and this daughter that pretend that they're doing incest, or maybe they were doing incest. Yeah. Maybe then, they are. We don't know. But then yeah. he was on stream last night, like a horse kicking her, or like, you know, when hmm. you're laying back and kicking like that, you really nailed theirs. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Real sick, sick, okay. sick. Strange. Uh, yeah. Strange. So the viewers called moment. the police, yeah. And they arrested him. Oh. And he's yeah. in jail, yeah. Uh, well, I hope things will, will turn up now for the start turning <laughs> up for the Ralph Mail now. <laughs> I do too. I hope this is a little bit of a relief for Ralph because boy, has it been. Um, it's been a roller coaster for Ralph these last four years. It's got to be yeah. so draining, you know? Yeah. Like somebody who hates yeah. you that yeah. much yeah. with money to, to spend. Now at least he's got to deal with the IRS for a little well, bit, and they're not. He's buying. got one less, no. ex Ralph. You got one less excuse. You could actually focus on like doing things and not being distracted by like just complete nonsense, white trash that just desperately wants your attention. I mean, this is what these people were doing. Yeah, they uh, were literally bankrupting themselves to get Ralph's attention. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> It's wild, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it's so funny. <laughs> it's it took crazy. four years oh, because to you pay off. your daughter. I mean, like, <laughs> join the club. There's a, what is there? Hundreds of thousands of fathers in the United States who have had their teen daughters get pregnant by some guy. That's yeah, twice their oh, age, God, and, yeah. and many of them were fatter than Ralph. So let's not, you know, yeah, you didn't even have the worst are one in jail, <laughs> or you know, murderers yeah. or whatever. I mean, it's right. constantly going on. Or not, they have no like Ralph's very entertaining and fun and intelligent. You know, they. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she could have done worse. I don't know. He thought he was going to go on Doctor Phil or something. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, Perspic, thanks for calling in. That's uh, as course. I said, I enjoyed your your run on the Ralph on the kill stream. I appreciate that. Yeah. It was a uh, it was a fade. It was a fade. It wasn't faded to last, but I, it was a fun experience. I had fun with Ralph. It never is. Are you doing anything now that you want to plug? Um, you could catch me on YouTube at, at Perspicacity on YouTube. Okay, and that's about it. Perspicacity. I'll, I'll be streaming again. I have to do a victory lap on this since I've been covering the Vickers for four years, and I know all their antics. <laughs> And uh, the last time Vickers lost a, a lawsuit, he said, I was like the first person, my face popped into his mind. So I have to enjoy this just a little bit, you know? Yeah, yeah. This is, enjoy it. <laughs> Even though I'm nobody. Like, the guy is obsessed with me. I'm nobody. I'm like just somebody who's covered his antics, but he really is just obsessed with this I don't think sphere of the internet. I don't think Gen X people understand the internet. I don't think they can imagine people at scale. They only know what's in front of them, and then that's everything. They know uh, there are people watching. They, they don't care if it's 10 or 100 or 1,000. Yeah, yeah, mm. there is a lot of that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, man, have a good one. All right. Well, thank you for having me. Enjoy on. the Oscars. Are you going to enjoy the Oscars tonight? <laughs> <Is that? laughs> yeah. <maybe. laughs> all right, see ya. All right, man, see ya. Uh, nice guy. What a world. <clears throat> Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.